Okay, bit of a strange video. Yes, there is some rain in the background and yes, I am outside in the garden. It's uh, six, it's six in the morning. Sometimes I like to come out and just sit out with um, just, uh, just a glass of uh, water and some lemon. Today we're going for the Diet Coke, but the title of the video is, I'm sorry if I've clickbaited anybody in, it's how to deal with parosmia, however you explain it, the COVID smell, the COVID... Um, you know, whatever you want to call it, right? The, that horrible smell. <clears throat> um, so this isn't a cure video or this isn't, um, yeah, it's not a how to fix it. So I'm sorry if, if you think it's that. Um, I just have nobody that knows about it. Nobody really understands it. Um, sometimes you feel like you're going a bit crazy. And I figured I'd just put it out on the internet and figure if there's anybody else out there experiencing it. So basically, the long and short of it, is at some point uh, this year I got COVID. <clears throat> um, it was around November last year, I should say. Um, recovered. And I was fine. I uh, had no smell and taste. In fact, I had such no no taste that I could drink like 99% whiskey. Um, and I don't even like whiskey. I just did it just to see. And yeah, I could drink it absolutely fine, like water. Eventually, um, <clears throat> my smell came back taste came back and I was like oh nice that's great <clears throat> didn't think anything of it then um, probably around six months ago um, just everything started to smell and taste awful um, just started to smell and taste awful and um, for example one of the only things I can eat is um, white chocolate I can eat potatoes tomatoes peppers um, some form of pasta, I make my own sauce because I can't have anything in it. So just kind of like, you know, tomatoes with just anything and make your own sauce. Um, there's really nothing else. Um, <clears throat> I can very occasionally eat pizza, <coughs> but it has to be done in such a way where if it starts to burn, if it starts to overheat, if it starts to smell of toast or bread, can't eat it. N can't eat chicken, meat, nothing. Um, <clears throat> everything just smells like the only way I can describe it is like it's been in the fridge for like um like two months and then kind of microwaved and then left there and then you can eat it and you're like this does not this is not right. Frustrating thing about it, people say you can make safe foods. Safe foods are like you know oh I've tried this and I like it. Problem is things change. An example, yesterday we made a cake. <clears throat> um, don't really like cakes, biscuits, anything anymore. Um, can't eat any of them, but we, we tried one. And I was like, sod it, just put it with um, raspberry jam. Absolutely fantastic, really enjoyed it. Ate the entire thing. <coughs> because when you've only been eating the same meal for about six months, anything new is fantastic. So we made another one. Um, now I, I open the box, the lid. Um, the the smell is so strong, so sweet, so like sickly sweet. Can't even. It's like I can't even be in the same room as it, which just makes no sense. This is the thing that is so frustrating. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and I'm wondering if there's anyone out there that also is experiencing this that has any tips to deal with it. Um, or home remedies. I'm on a smell kit. Smell kit is like these four things: rose. Um, eucalyptus, clove, um, and lemon. They're like these smell training kits. That's not really doing much, to be honest. Um, but I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> um, it's been so immensely depressing and frustrating, you know, just not been able to enjoy any food. You know, I went to the doctors and they basically said, well, at least you're not dead, you know, which, uh, which is great. Um, but yeah, it's not a very nice thing thinking for the next seven months, another seven months, I've got to just eat one meal. You know, it's really difficult. Um, <clears throat> I try things all the time. The difficulty is before I was a fussy eater, which we're not even going to get into because it's an actual medical thing. There are people that actually just cannot eat certain things. Like, it's just, it's not okay. Like, the, the best thing that happened, I know this sounds bad, was uh, my... One of my family members always used to say, oh, you're so fussy, you should try this, or, you know. And she once had the COVID smell and taste thing, 
<clears throat> and she couldn't go near anything. And I used to say to her, oh, just try it. You know, she'd be like, I can't. I know I'm gonna, not going to like it. And I'd be like, go on, just try it. You know, then, <clears throat> you know, you understand what I've been going through. <clears throat> so I didn't really have a massive vet varied diet beforehand. Now it's even worse. It's even smaller. And it's just super frustrating. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so things are like coffee. Coffee is the thing makes no sense, right? Um, can't smell coffee. It, it, sorry, I can smell it, but I can't stand the smell. Can't be even in the same house. Literally, if, if someone's in the kitchen and they're making coffee, cooking an onion, frying something, making toast, um, <clears throat> God forbid they have like a curry and it's got all those things in. It, it's so bad that I literally have to lock myself in my room, shut my window, shut my door, and smell this like pot of menthol. So people are taking the mick and they're saying, oh, it's really great. You don't eat chocolate and biscuits and you lose weight. Oh, this this sounds great, but it's not. Unluckily for me, I haven't had the weight loss effect. I've probably had the weight gain effect because the only things I'm really eating are like <clears throat> sporadically <coughs> and randomly. And then if I find something new that I like, I binge on it. But I'm just trying to not let that mentally get to me because I'm just thinking like, well, you know, what can I do really? What can, what can I do? Um, <clears throat> trying to not beat myself up about it too much. Trying to just take each day as it goes. But it's frustrating. Super, super frustrating. And it's frustrating that nobody seems to be talking about it. It's just like, get the vaccine, get back out there. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, get on with yourself. And I'm like, that's great, but... Uh, like for example jury duty I recently got called up for jury duty um, I can't go I, I live an incredibly secluded life at the moment any smell um, <clears throat> has just been so mentally draining I couldn't I can't risk being in a new room with new people and new smells and throwing up in court and all of that um, so we went to the doctor I explained everything and I explained myself to the 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 people and they said yeah like that makes sense you know <clears throat> you know i've been incredibly fatigued because i'm not really eating um just yeah it's just been so depressing fatigue just this and it, it's just yeah it's quite overwhelming <clears throat> so i was just wondering if there was anybody that um has experienced this um things to note are it doesn't make sense <clears throat> meaning Let's take the cake example. I take the cake, um, I eat it, it's really nice. Um, a couple days later, it's awful, absolutely awful. I can't stand the smell, can't stand the smell of the jam. So, just to prove to myself it's not like the mixture of the cake or some other thing, I'm like, right, I'm going to go and smell the pot of jam. So, can't stand the cake smell, can't smell, stand the jam smell. Smell the pot of jam, there's no smell. There's no smell, I can't smell anything. <clears throat> um, so I think, okay, I'm going to brace through it. I'm just going to eat it. So um, I take a big bite of the cake and it's absolutely so disgusting that I begin to just spit it out into the bin, which is just not normal behavior, is it, for a, like a, a raspberry sponge cake. Um, spit it into the bin. It's so disgusting. Three, four minutes later, I'm getting the aftertaste and the aftertaste tastes nice like it used to do two days ago so it all makes no sense a coffee the coffee absolutely stinks it's it, the, the most frustrating thing is <clears throat> i can't describe the smell to you i call it a covid smell because i don't know how to describe it it's like this it's pungent it's chemically it's like it's like your body tells you you don't want to be near that smell you need to get away from it that's the only way i can describe it <clears throat> um so you know, can't stand that, can't t stand the taste of it. And then out of sheer rage one day, I'm like, I'm sick of it. I want a coffee. <clears throat> so I went and I got an iced coffee, super strong, drank it. It tasted brilliant. But coffee stinks. But that coffee didn't stink. And it tasted nice. And I, I just don't understand it. <clears throat> um, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, there's just like, God, onion is the worst. Onion is so bad that it's like, yeah, it's like, I, I just have to basically almost vomit immediately. It's so strong. Um, 
And it's been really debilitating. <laughs> That's you know, I can I laugh and smile about it, but super frustrating, super debilitating. And I saw a video of some bloke in America. He was going through the same thing. He was trying foods and he was saying this this is another thing. Everything tastes like each other. So he was like this pizza tastes like this kebab which tastes like these fries but they all taste awful you know the other day um uh, what did i try well i tried something yeah that's what it was i tried um it was like a pizza base didn't enjoy it at all it was awful but the pizza base tasted and smelled exactly like a chicken nugget like and when I say it tasted and smelled like a chicken nugget, I mean it tasted and smelled like the weird variant of the chicken nugget. It didn't you know? You would think of plain food. Let's try plain food. Potatoes. Sometimes they're disgusting. Tap water. Tap water can stink. Um, I haven't drank any juice. If you're American, it's like cordial. I guess you'd call it. I don't know if you call it juice. Um, <clears throat> you know. Th- there are some things, you know, that I've found to be more nice than previously, like strawberries. And when you hear somebody say that, you're like, oh, you can't eat chocolate and cake, but you like strawberries? Haha, <laughs> that sounds great. But it, it's not. It's not like that. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd post and just say, look, there's a lot I could discuss about it. But nobody seems to be talking about it. And it's quite frustrating. Um... It's really demoralizing, and they say it's like a something. They say like COVID got into like your I can't remember the term. Basically, like the main nerve in your nose and has damaged it, and it can take years and years to recover. Sometimes not. Says that people have head injuries if they bang their head. They can also have no smell. They say it's down to like the connections of the brain. That's why smell training helps, but I found it to be no use. So yeah, at this point, I'm like I don't know what to do. Um, you know, it's pretty frustrating. So that is, that is it, shall we say. So please discuss below what variant have you got? (laughs) Because that's the world we live in now. What smells can you not stand? Um, did yours get better? Did it not? How long have you been experiencing it? Um, all right, peace.